Well, we want to turn now to that COVID misinformation scandal surrounding comedian and podcaster Joe Rogan. His podcast caused a major backlash for the streaming service Spotify, prompting an apology from Rogan. Well, here's CBS's Vladimir Dutier. I'm, I'm very sorry that they feel that way. I, in the Instagram I, video, I, I, Joe Rogan is both apologetic uh, and defensive in responding to accusations that he's helping spread dangerous information about COVID-19 on Spotify's top podcast. I will do my best to try to balance out these more controversial viewpoints. Musicians Neil Young and Joni Mitchell pulled their music from Spotify in support of hundreds of medical experts who sent a letter asking for an end to misinformation on the platform. Popular host Brene Brown won't release any new podcast until further notice. I'm not trying to promote misinformation. Spotify will now add an advisory to any discussions of COVID-19. On the Joe Rogan experience, Rogan has claimed that young people don't need the vaccine. Last month, he hosted a controversial anti-vax doctor. Because I'm not a doctor, I'm not a scientist. I'm just a person who sits down and talks to people. Spotify CEO Daniel X said in a blog post, the company is trying to balance user safety with creator expression, adding it's important that Spotify doesn't take on the position of being content censor. Nils Lofgren, longtime guitarist for Bruce Springsteen, has pulled his music too. We're all for free speech. We just don't want to be associated with um, misinformation and lies that are killing Americans. Vladimir Dutip, CBS News, New York.